Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that often goes unnoticed but can have a massive impact on your trading and investment strategies, survivorship bias. Imagine this. You're in the middle of World War II, and the U.S. military is desperately trying to figure out how to reduce fatalities among its planes and pilots. What they discover is an astonishing lesson in survivorship bias that can be directly applied to trading, investing, and backtesting. Stick around because this story will change the way you think about success and failure in the financial markets. But before we get into the nitty-gritty of survivorship bias and trading, let's take a step back and look at an incredible example from World War II. During the war, many returning planes displayed bullet holes in specific patterns. It seemed logical to reinforce these areas, right? After all, those planes made it home safely. But here's where it gets interesting. A brilliant mind named Abraham Wald came to the opposite conclusion. He suggested that the military should reinforce the areas of the fuselage where there were no red dots. Why? Because these were the places the planes wouldn't survive if hit. This is a perfect example of survivorship bias in action. Now let's relate this to trading and backtesting. Survivorship bias is all about the things we don't see or tend to ignore. We love hearing about super traders and success stories, but we tend to forget all those who tried but failed. These traders never make the headlines, thus we indirectly ignore them. Trading decisions aren't just about tangible results, they also involve assessing alternative histories and unintended consequences. In fact, survivorship bias is prevalent in the stock market, something we've shown on our website, quantifiedstrategies.com, multiple times, and also in our backtesting course. Research by Hendrik Bessembinder reveals that the great majority of listed companies fail to beat short-term treasury bills. That's right, for every success story, there are countless companies that don't make the cut. So why does this matter? Well, it's because survivorship bias can distort your back tests and lead to flawed trading strategies. The averages we often see don't represent the typical stock, but rather a few star performers that skew the data. Let's explore some real-life examples of survivorship bias in trading and backtesting to drive this point home. For instance, Seeking Alpha recently published a strategy that showed impressive outperformance. But the catch was that it picked winners based on past performance, which is unlikely to be repeated. Because, as mentioned earlier, most stocks end up going nowhere or being losers. Survivorship bias strikes again. Ignoring delisted stocks can lead to overestimated results that don't hold up in real trading. So how can you avoid falling victim to survivorship bias in your trading and backtesting? One solution is to use databases that include delistings like Norgate data. Likewise, if you stick to ETFs and indices, you should be good. Day trading also has limited exposure to survivorship risk. In conclusion, understanding survivorship bias is essential for any trader or investor. It's a hidden trap that can lead to flawed strategies and distorted results. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.